Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys, today we're going to be sharing something really exciting with you. We had an opportunity to do a review from a company called Viver. They sent us a walk-in greenhouse. This greenhouse is going to be amazing and it's going to be a wonderful addition to our garden. For those of you who do not know, my children and I are uh, self-proclaimed uh, suburban homestead gardeners. We started off a couple of years ago with a few containers. I wish I had pictures I would show you that, but our garden has metamorphed over the past couple years to the point where we have about, I would say, mm, not quite a quarter of our yard is garden but it's way more than what we started off with. So you guys, I do wanna again thank Viva for sending us their walk-in greenhouse. This greenhouse measures four by six by four by six by six by six feet. So it's six by six, uh, 6 6.6 .6 feet tall. So a, a person that tall can stand up inside of this. And uh, this greenhouse fits amazing. It has uh, two shelvings on both sides so a total of four it's actually eight different shelves but if you're talking uh lengthwise it's two sets of shelving and it's amazing so you all know me i am the um queen of we have a project to do let's get the project done i'm the four person i'm the four person i help and encourage my children to take part in uh, putting together things. One of the things I cannot do is wait for somebody else to get it done. But this greenhouse actually went together very easily and very simply. Yeah, I say that, right? Because I don't actually put the things together. But my son has a, a propensity for doing this type of work. And so I was helping him pull out all the material and we were able to get this greenhouse put together lickety split. I was very excited to be able to um, have this in our home. I had been praying and asking the Lord to send us a greenhouse. I was, you know, looking at the budget. And of course, it just wasn't a budget item that I was going to try to uh, fit into my budget. And here you would have it that a company reaches out. and They're like, hey, this is what we have. So I was like, this is amazing. Thank you so much. So. This has a stable frame. It's very sturdy, although it is a pop together. And what I mean is it has connectors that you put all of your metal pieces into. So those connectors keep it together. We uh, decided to put this together in the living room because we had enough space for it. So here we are just getting all of the pieces out of the box. We are going to move the ottoman out of the way and Jackson is going to get busy. Jackson's a very big help to me um, on the homestead, sister homesteads as well. Sister's probably a better gardener because she enjoys the plants. She's one of those people who talks to her plants and they just grow in response to her voice. She gives them all names. But here's my son trying to help his mom who is not necessarily all that coordinated on things, figure the things out. And here we are just putting together the pieces. So as Jackson, and he just has, like I said, a propensity for this. This went together very easily. None of the pieces were hard. All of the metal uh, legs stuck into the connector pieces. So it was almost like uh, playing connect the dots, if that makes any sense. It does come with full instructions on how to put it together. And of course, I'm doing it wrong. So here's my son helping me figure it out. He does well to humor me. Uh, most times, I'm sure he's just thinking, Mom, why don't you just let me do it? But again, we're a family homestead, and we believe in putting things together. Um, the shelving can hold up to 33 pounds worth of weight, and the pipes are very sturdy. So again, this was a great project for us to do. The first thing we did was we installed the steel pipe frame. After we did that, we covered it with the plastic tarp and then we put down the ropes or the uh, fittings to keep it in the ground. So we did anchor it into the ground. But what I quickly realized was 
at the size that this was, if we put it together in the house, we were not going to be able to get it out the door. So once we continue to work on this for a little while, and yes, I'm having a praise and worship break in the middle of putting this together, I'm not going to let nothing stop me from praise and worship. And I think I'm praising and worship the Lord for him sending us this uh, wonderful addition to the garden. You're going to see how it fits perfectly out in the garden in uh, just a little while. But again, what, as I was putting it together, my little pieces, and of course, my son is like, Mom, really? Um, I was just noticing that it because it's four by four by four by six, it was going to be too wide to fit outside of the door. So we're going to make a decision here in just a little while to take it outside to continue its construction. We could have put it together perfectly in the house, but I didn't want to put it together, then deconstruct it to take it outside. So again, as we're seeing how wide it is, that's going to be our determining factor for making the switch to go outside. And um, again, Jackson could have had this put together way quicker if I had not been in the way, but it does not take a long time at all. We do appreciate um, things that help us help ourselves. And this is going to be a beautiful addition to the garden. We are already seeing great produce come from our uh, garden work. And so I'm just thankful that even in the rain, when, you know, the elements aren't being very friendly to me or when it's being, you know, cooler, I can actually go into the greenhouse and, and be warm while I'm working. So here we just got the bottom together and Jackson pulls the whole thing outside. Works out perfectly. So if you'll notice the two shorter sides where he's putting in a post now, that's where the shelves are going to go. And then that middle section is where you can actually stand and work. So it fits. I think I was in there the other day and sister was in there. We were both working on some shelving work and we fit in there just fine. So here I am, I'm always going to give my kids a hand. We, we do things together as a family. I think that's one of the things that's important to share on our channel, especially for new subs, is we do things as a family. When I found myself in a position where it was just myself and my children, it was like, God, you have to help me. I didn't want to become a bitter single mom. I didn't want, because that is a thing. I didn't want to become bitter at the fact that their dad had left so i said god help me to not be this person what can we do and we just decided to family that meant everything i did they did everywhere i went they went um now as they are growing up and and the two older are out of the house and alana's grown um we don't do everything together anymore but we're each other's first go-to, if that makes any sense. So here's Jackson. He is putting uh, the greenhouse over the soil barrel. This just made sense for us. And so I took a few minutes to go out and check on some of the produce from the garden. And as I am trying to do some weeding, um, we definitely will be putting down weed barrier before we do any more planting in these areas. Did, these were new beds that Mr. Jerome put in for us this year. But again, um, our, our garden is just taking off to such a degree. This is a far cry from where we started when we first started gardening. And we're very thankful to be able to have what we have. This is our tomato bed, which we need a whole, uh, probably where the trellis is next year, we're gonna do just tomatoes there because these tomatoes took off and they are growing so much that one of the, entire um cages fell over we couldn't figure out what had happened until we were able to get in the middle of all of the things and the, the weight of the tomato plant was so much it took a cage and a half over so we had to end up doing something to jimmy reagan 
Alrighty, you guys, so here it is. We have put up the greenhouse. I'm gonna move this out of the way so y'all can see what it looks like. Um, this is it from standing back in the garden. We put it over where our soil barrel is because this is where we would typically end up putting, uh, you know, doing all of our uh, soil and plant transfers out of smaller baskets into bigger baskets. I'm still able to do my um, soil barrel hack with my, so I'm still able to get my shelf over the soil barrel so that I can put soil in there when I'm doing plant transfers. Um, a friend of mine, Renee, told me that uh, these little uh, shelves, sometimes they would fly away. We had a really bad storm last night. Well, it wasn't, I mean, it was just the wind was blowing. And so what I did was she said um, uh, she used zip ties to tie those down. So I did zip ties on all of them. We'll just need to come through and cut those little extra bits off. And it is um, June 13th in North Carolina. I'm standing inside of the greenhouse and it is sweltering in there. What they did send me was this extra plastic piece. So when it is winter time, so our what would be December, January, probably into November a little bit, but December, January, we're going to unfold this heavy duty plastic and we're going to further insulate the inside of it. It's not necessary now because it is way too hot and anything we put in here that could not withstand sweltering, sweltering times three degrees is going to be um, is going to kill it. So we will keep this until it is our winter months and then the kids and I will come out and we will further insulate this. Um, the other thing that they sent me that I thought was really good and I'm so thankful for was they sent me this whiteboard. And I almost was thinking, now what in the world am I supposed to do with that out here? But sometimes I don't always remember where I wrote down when I planted something or transplanted something. So now I have this, I've just zip tied it to the top of the greenhouse and what I can do is just right on here like today we're going to plant cucumbers so I'll put 613 planted cucumbers back bed or back row or whatever and then I can put how many days it's going to take them to germinate how many days it'll take them to see fruit and then as I am taking stuff out of the garden I can you know cross things off or I can this is just a way for me to keep my record keeping out here in the garden so I'm not trying to keep it in the house right because sometimes I have too many things going on in one space so anywho there it is it did rain last night so we actually closed this and we zipped it down and so this works as well but this was a great um, addition to our garden and we are very very appreciative of it so I'm gonna get all of that all wrapped up and we're gonna work on some other garden projects I do want to thank Beaver for sending me those couple of things. It's been helpful to the kids and I for our garden. We actually love gardening. I love gardening. My kids don't love gardening, but it is a way for me to actually come out. See, I was in that um, greenhouse, y'all, and I'm sweating. And I'm out outside now, and it's nice and shady and cool, which is really helpful. Jackson, you all need to uh, water those a little too, bud. Don't forget. Um, but it is uh, very helpful for us to be able to have that, especially when I'm trying to, um, when it's raining and I have, I just got things I need to get done. I can go into the greenhouse, bring my umbrella, of course, out here, go into the greenhouse, uh, close it, close myself in. I had a little hornet in there. I took some hornet spray and killed it. Um, that's the only thing about having the greenhouse because when it was open, you know, bugs could fly all around, but now they can fly in there. So we just have to be diligent of watching, make sure nothing's in there. But anywho, thank you again, Viva, for sending those. These items will be listed in the description box below if you're interested. Um, very good for our garden, very good for our purposes. Again, we're at a little suburban homestead garden out here doing all the things. So we do want to thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.